Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jamla Kian. And I'm Tevita Vave. I wanted to start off today. I've been meaning to tell you this story um, from a few weeks back. We were at the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were at the park for, uh, for an occasion. Yeah. And a lot of people we hadn't seen in months, maybe even years. And everyone was getting, just introducing and getting to know each other and that. And at this occasion, and then my mate Elton walks over and I'm talking to my mate Eddie who's Tongan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when Elton comes over, the rude comes and he goes, Yeah, bro, uh, um, yeah. Uh, Eddie goes, No, I feel like I met you. He goes, Yeah, no, I met, uh, definitely, but I, I watch all the podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I go, Ooh, you I go, Ooh, ooh. He goes, oh, He goes, He goes, He goes, yeah, but no, we, we are, I'm pretty sure we've met, but I, I watch all the podcasts, bro. Wow. Oh, I was dying. And, and that's go, the first time all mates met huh? Eddie. Yeah, it's the first time he's ever met Eddie. Oh, bro, he's like, never met, yeah, never met him. Never <laughs> <laughs> bro, was, oh, bro. Eddie, if you're watching, you must be good looking, bro. <sighs> like uh, a young Denzel. No. Wait, it's good. Eddie watches all of our stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Like he's a man. No, I chat to Eddie all the time. Yeah, yeah. He tells me. He told. But me. he didn't bring that up. Huh? <laughs> yeah, no, because I said let me let me let tell you. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to say it here. Wow. But, but yeah, I've been meaning to tell you that for like two weeks now. Wow, man. Uh, as you can see, guys, we've got our new hats. They've all come in. Oh, I'd like to talk about it. I'd like to thank my beautiful fiance Chelsea, who has designed them. She actually. She's a creative designer herself, so she. The difference, the, the, I feel like they're not just ordinary hats. They're actually pretty well thought out of. Um, you can see here the corduroy, so you can use it just casually. You don't have to use it when you're running or anything. Like they're, they're nice to wear with your fits, like nice fits, right? Um, the 2020 was when we started the pod during the pandemic, pandemic. you know, when I, I had all these thoughts that I could do things, do different things. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they fit big heads. <laughs> that, <laughs> and they fit big heads. Uh, other details, yeah. So this is a, in a tan and a white, and we've got the logo at the back. And you this can is see the, the logo in the back. Yeah, the blue and the red, uh, navy blue and red. And there's one here. If you look inside, it is uh, we put in this the tag in here, and it says "Follow your personal legend." And that comes from the book The Alchemist. Um, if anyone's ever. If anyone's ever read it, uh, The Alchemist, this one by Paulo Coelho. And it's, it's more so, you know, we all have our own personal legends in our life, our own purpose. And every little step that we do in life, once you know your purpose or you find it, um, you really go for it. So you have dreams and goals and you always want to accomplish something. You really go for it because uh, life for people that have a personal legend you know, we say it all the time, there's a plan, <laughs> like we have plans, yeah. but God's plan <laughs> uh, trumps everything. Yeah. There are things that in my life that I feel there's no way that I could have done this. Like that yeah. is, it's all just happened. It was, um, yeah. Follow your personal legend. That's from the alchemist. I like that, man. I yeah. didn't even notice that detail. Yeah. Um, Sick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the thing from, from the alchemist, everything in life flows in your way when you follow your personal legend. Another thing since we've last seen each other, yeah. uh, you've been doing it every week, you have, you've Sunday been getting steps. Sunday steps, yeah, it's and like that it, yeah. kind of inspired my, for us to build on that even more. Yeah. I've been having some boys, cause we wanted a job. I think we were all just hanging out one time and then we were talking about, uh, we should do City Surf. Mm. And we were joking around, blah, blah. I go, bro, let's all train for it. Or yeah. like, if you, if you don't ever run, let's go. Let's, let's run. Because you run all the so time. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like literally every yeah, day. Yeah. You run. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly every day. Yeah. yeah. And I go, let's make it happen. So I'll get a few, a few boys started one week, the next week. So I'll, let's run with it. Let's keep going. So this, this week we'll be at Nepean River. Um, we've been doing it in the area. We're going to go to different places. We'll just have fun with it. <clears throat> First will be the boys, you know, a yeah. little thing, a little social thing. Nothing Harry, just having fun. Casual pace. Getting, getting casual pace. Again. Yeah, and getting, yeah. Um, yeah, just getting out, having, yeah. having a good time and just socializing with the boys, catching up. And then 
slowly, slowly, not just the boys, the girls, you know, our, our family members, our friends that want to join in, and it'll just be a Start Somewhere Run Club. So keep an eye out on the dates, the times. Location changes page. all the time, but yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll change it. Yeah, yeah, so this week's Nepean. Yeah, we'll have fun with it. Nepean yeah. River this week. Weekly? Right? Weekly. Weekly, all right, see. If something happens, I, like, I can't make it. I, I hope that it still goes on, but, you know, make it happen. Let's go. Okay. So, Our whole life. Yeah. Uh, well, you were telling me in the chat that, you know, I grew up around Pacific Islanders, so yeah. I'm quite well-versed yeah. <laughs> the Pacific Islander culture. Mm -hmm. Well, more than most people. Yeah, I get it. I, I kind of get it. And I'm empathetic to different things, the culture and all that. Why do you think that we get along so well? Not just me and you, but mm -hmm. I feel like there's a thing out there that Pacific Islanders, Samoan Tongans and Filipinos really get along. Really well. That really well. Not like, just here, like, like in not America here, as the well. US yeah, is yeah, a I big thing, well. I know that. Yeah. We just get along really well. What do you think that is? Um, I think maybe because both nations are island countries, mm. as in, like, obviously Tonga's in the middle of the island, uh, Pacific, yeah, yeah, Pacific Ocean, Islands. there's a, like a few islands in the middle. Yeah. Samoa's the same. Philippines has a thousand plus islands. Yeah, thousands of plants. If people don't know that, it is island life mm. out there because some people might just think, you know, it's a city, Manila, and yeah. it's urban. No. No. It's All <laughs> the islands are. Uh, you showed me photos. I watched that video, that doco as well. Mm -hmm. That there's uh, of the island, and I go, that looks like the remote islands that I've been to in the Philippines. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so very think, similar in yeah, that way. Very similar in that way, and um, I think there's a lot of like uh, similarities in the two yeah. cultures. You got like every Filipino function you go to, every Tongan or Samoan function yeah. you go to. Food, food for days. Food. You're like, your parents or whoever's running the function always overdoes it because they don't want to be judged kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they don't want to be judged, but yeah. oh man, did you get Always the more. Yeah, <laughs> always more. So you've got enough food for everyone to pack to go home. Yeah, that's I reckon right. that's another similarity. That's a huge thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, similarities in the food. Like, even the food in general, like themselves, like, you see, like, Lechon and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very similar. It was like chop suey, similar to yeah. chop suey. I think that was a thing that we both got from Chinese immigration. Yeah. Or Chinese influence. The pork, yeah. yeah. And even like the roast pork. The, the, the chop suey, for yeah. sure. And then our pancit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so similarities in culture and even big families, man. Like, yeah. I've never really met a Filipino single child family. Yeah. It's not that, that common, is it? Uh... I, I don't like me you and don't my have sister, any yeah. Yeah. but like even if you think back home, mm. <laughs> there's so many kids. Like people we'll have watching so TV. Many kids. There's nothing <laughs> yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing to do. <laughs> Just make kids. But yeah. yeah. So growing up, That's I think it. you growing up with um, like your family, friends, yeah. and. I've grown up with like a big family and yeah. friends and it's not like just between like you and your siblings, it's literally you, you and your 50 other siblings, relatives, your cousins, families, your friends yeah. and all that. And I think just how um, how both of them like like interact with each other. Yeah. So like you're already growing up with all your cousins and that, so you kind of learn the way of, because I, I found like that outside of like similar like, cultures with similarities, you get like some people that are brought up like different. So yeah, 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 whenever yeah. we're like, we're chatting about something or if you're, if you're in a place like where you got women or something like that, mm. like Philo show a lot of respect. Yeah, 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 yeah. As we're growing up to older women and stuff like that. And then you get some mates that, not pointing out anything, that just can't interact around mm. older people. Mm. Swearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, top the of respect the swearing. Yeah, the respect isn't there. But, that for sure yeah, yeah. And i also think the you know when you go to a party let, let's bring it back to the party music you know yeah. we loved uh, we obviously were known for karaoke but we listen to the same ballads i've been to parties that you do yeah and we love listening to like the celine dion Beyond. and the you know the real 80s rock yeah. soft rock music and we'll, the bangers mm. and we really we can um correlate or we can relate to that mm -hmm. For sure, but I yeah, I think um, those are the main things between between Islanders and, and Filipinos, Filipinos and, and why we tend to get along so well. Yeah, we yeah. understand. Yeah, it's very similar. And if you really draw it back, uh, mm. I'm pretty sure that where Filipinos come from or where 
all uh, Pacific Islanders come from. We all come, like obviously all people come from the same, but there is a connection yeah. of how, especially the Maori one is yeah, yeah. very deeply yeah. close to us. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure there's that like there's been a few docos that the boys yeah, yeah. have talked about where yeah. like that's how come some of ones look yeah like some look really Filipino. like filipino like or asian yeah, yeah. And then some of us look island oh yeah well, the, our native ones yeah. my gosh they they look um, pacific island <laughs> no not even that they but, look proper indigenous yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah you know yeah yeah but yeah so i think just the the similarities in the in the cultures is mm. really why islanders and um filipinos get along yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. I was talking to a friend and she was telling me how she doesn't really have that communication or that love between her and her father or her parents. And I think it's in, I've seen it as well. We've seen it on social media mm. that Asians don't have a, you know, the very loving connection and communication. I don't know with you, but with me, oh, my parents, we're very, um, you know, my mom and dad have always shown me love. More so my mom in the sh showing affection uh, and yeah, hugging and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. My dad, since we were young, he, he shows it in a more action, action. way and show, teaching values way. Yeah. I don't think we've ever said I love you to each other kind yeah. of thing. Maybe we have like passing by or when I was younger, that, mm. I don't remember. But like hugging in that only on like big, big occasions, not mm. every day kind of thing. But mom is mom, you yeah. know, that feminine side mm -hmm. well, what do you think about well what is it what about in your culture well, what's it like compared to the asian yeah like culture? the asian culture the connection, seen that the connection, connection some between. people say they they've never said i love you yeah or some people say they've never talked to their parents deep about deep things yeah I, um it's a yeah, that's a tricky one, man. Yeah, like, well, well, like if I think about it and like your, dwell into it a bit. Yeah, your experience. Yeah, my, with my experience, my like my mum and dad showed affections in their own ways. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, mum does the whole yeah. lovey dovey, <laughs> you know. But mum was also the yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. So my dad, like, he never, he was a um, man of few words, man. Yeah. He was a man of few words. Like, but that's still still around. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I think it comes down to. Just the just old school, old school way or mentality yeah. of our dads, and the fact that um, yeah, they were just brought up tough. Yeah. They were brought up to never really show emotion. Yeah, because yeah, coming through, man. Like some stories that my dad would tell me about growing up back home. It's just like, sheesh. Mm -hmm. And he kind of had yeah, a yeah. similar, um, was it like a similar thing to him and his dad, where yeah. it wasn't like the affection wasn't there, but the love was still there. Mm -hmm. So. Like I think things that yeah. So things that we don't we don't see as them showing love. Like they don't show the I love you or the yeah. leave you a note yeah. kind of thing. But like you don't really realize it until you're a bit older. That yeah. when you look back on it, you're just like shucks, yeah. man, my old man grinding. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's showing me love in, in that different sense. way. Yeah. And maybe he was just too tired. He was always I think, always working. That's yeah. all I remember of my mum and dad was always I, working. I have a feeling. Exactly the working part, like I'm gonna give you yeah so much for 100%. life. Yeah. But in food, I think in Asian culture yeah. it's food. You yeah. Know? <laughs> you don't have to say I love you or anything, mm. but come come to the dinner table and I've made you food. That's yeah. your show of love. That's the way of Especially showing Asians, love. Yeah. Asians, like not Filipino culture. Mm. Well Filipino for sure, food is like a big way. Yeah. But like Chinese Malaysian, Singaporean culture Thais as well. I think, yeah, I think that's the one yeah, that I read. The, like, I watched the um, the video one. Yeah, where oh, I think it was, or maybe even the Japanese. I think it may have been yeah. Japanese. Where yeah, it has to. Yeah, the mum no, or the dad you. weren't ever showing affection, yeah. but the son was always going to school with a full bag of food. Yeah, yeah. And then he didn't realize until he got a bit older that your parents show love in a different way. In a different way. I think it's just the culture. The yeah, Asian it definitely culture. Is. Yeah. Um, we don't know what we can bring it back to uh maybe we'll speak to someone that will maybe you guys maybe someone will be able to advise us more i can we can only speak on behalf of uh, well, what we can relate to yeah relate to experience yeah but i, I for sure know the well, filipinos are one of the most emotional countries in the world you yeah. watch our teleseries and dramas they they will show emotion in mm. so many ways so i don't think it's that but um it's just what we've experienced yeah basically. it's the culture yeah, yeah. sure
there's one thing I've been wanting to discuss yeah. proper for months since even when you started popping on the podcast he's uh on ESPN I can't believe these guys are really targeting people like you with the shaver shop <laughs> <laughs> and Ashley and Martin ads <laughs> <laughs> to put this into context, I get at least when the NBA season's on, at least one message a day or two. A day or two going, hey, bro, are you watching this? I'm like, man, how am I watching this? I'm at work. <laughs> yes, bro, they're coming at you again. <laughs> and we mean they're coming at me again. I go, who are you talking about? And then you just see, you see, oh, <laughs> when my mate was getting married, I was too embarrassed to take my hat off. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm the, not embarrassed. The best one. Yeah, yeah, but. <laughs> it was, the best one was, um, uh, my mate asked me to be his best, best man. man. Yeah, he's ready. The, the first thing. thing I thought of was, you can't wear hats in church. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so with the NBA season back, I've been seeing these ads again and I just wanted to bring a light to it. ESPN, you guys know what you're doing. These are these companies, Ashley and Martin, Shaver Shop, uh, what's that one there? The, the, the Bulldog or something, what do yeah, they call it? Or something the like. Pitbull. Yeah. I, I see it, I see it, I see it. No, but I know what you're doing. You know, you're doing. Say, you I know, know your demographic. Doing. You're using the NBA use and ex- NFL season. Yeah, use ex- exploiting. Like, user exploiting. No, I wouldn't say exploiting. <laughs> yes. User targeting <laughs> yeah. the so called goats of basketball. <laughs> MJ was bold. They there reckon he go. was a goat. Kobe, bold. They mm-hmm. reckon he was a goat. LeBron, the fake having hair, is boldy. Hmm. He is considered a goat. So NBA, He's ESPN, the rock. I like that. The yeah, Rock. We've never talked about yeah, the, 100%. All the, remember all I the said, that are goats. All the goats are bold. Yeah. Except for... Manny. Manny, yeah, Tito, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Tito's got hair. Floyd. Yeah. So they're, they're, yeah, keep going. There's yeah. a whole list. There's a whole list of boldies, bro. Denzel. He just Denzel. Yeah, yeah, clean cut, clean cut. He's not bold, but yeah, clean cut. <laughs> <laughs> all the goats are bold. Yeah, so that's why they keep telling them, man. But yeah, you shouldn't never be embarrassed, man. It's just, it's the way of life. Just this prick has a hairline. <laughs> his hairline touches his eyebrows. And I envy it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, bro. It's been good this week that the NBA is back. And we just had Lakers Clippers. Lakers and got up. Lakers LB. got up. But that was a very good game to watch. It's like a playoff stars, game. Yeah, playoff game, mm. stars, shot making. Yeah. The stars were all there. Well, now that they're going to have Harden come in. But, but I don't know much how much more he brings to them. Yeah. They, what they already have. Yeah, but it's just fun to have the NBA back. And yeah. The right Clippers and... Um, I want everyone healthy. Just if AD stays healthy, you know. There's, <laughs> what the <laughs> yeah, he's just got to start doing he's that. He's over time, bro. 30, 30 and 20. He's a bad, bad man. Yeah. He's a bad, bad, is still man. not showing any signs of slowing down. Le peptides. Le, le PD. <laughs> le PD. Le roids. Le Miami steroids. <laughs> and then on the weekend, we were talking about it months and months ago. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking shit. Not you. You're talking shit. If you thought, oh, that was going to happen with Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury, we were talking to him months and months ago. We said he was going to get slapped. Man, I think we like, even like, got like, had a sec- like, yeah, segment on it where we were like, nah, Fury's going to slap me. And he was meant to. In, he was meant to in every way, in boxing, in every way. Not a street fight, not in the cage with just boxing rules. Wow. Fran- <sighs> that Francis Ngannou. What a performance. An absolute, like, what a performance, man. Like, fair enough, he was competitive, but some he dropped him. Some people don't get it. Like, some people don't get it how, how special that was. But it's a different sport. Like, completely different. Netball and basketball. Yeah, but and we, then we've the, seen it with the other MMA guys that have crossed paths and they haven't fought anyone like Fury. Hmm. So you've got Anderson Silva went over, Jake oh, yeah, Paul yeah, gave yeah, him yeah. a touch up. Tyron Woodley went over, Jake crazy. Paul gave him a touch up. Yeah. And then Nate Diaz went over, yeah, Jake guy, Paul gave he, him a touch up. I'll never Bro, but du- Jake, this guy's a YouTuber. We are talking about arguably nev- one of the yeah. best heavyweights in the last decade. I'll never doubt I'll never doubt Francis Ngannou in anything ever again. Wait till his movie comes out. Even if he fights John Jones, I'm not gonna doubt him. 
You know, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, John Jones is gonna clear him. Oh, this bro. guy's will to, will to, bro. Hey, what did that all that One of the yeah, yeah. That's one of the greatest, um, the greatest boxers, heavyweight, six nine size and everything. And he does that to him. He gave him a run for but his money. But you could see, you could see it in the fight as well. Every time, because Fury loves to put his weight on people and yeah. like get in the holds. Bro, he was trying to buy it. And then this is Francis. Francis. Yeah. <laughs> is that no. I've seen, uh, I've seen this funny clip where it's like this is you. Uh, I've seen this clip where um the or a meme where it was like um the greatest base for uh for combat sports is not wrestling. It's working at a sand mine. <laughs> That's where Francis grew yeah. up working, shoveling sand. Crazy. But yeah, like you said, you're talking absolute smack if you thought Francis was going to give him a run. Yeah. I personally, I thought they were going to have, you know, like just tippy tappy. Yeah. Bro, these guys were full going out of yeah, yeah, yeah. Like going for but each other. We, we didn't realize, well, well, we did realize, well, people were saying, oh, yeah, but he could. They got one shot power. That's the difference between Mayweather, McGregor, and this fight was mm. that heavyweights, one shot. Yeah. But then we never thought that Francis would ever land it. Landed, like guy, that, he, yeah. What's his name? Deontay Wilder, you know? Who's boxed for the last yeah. 10, 15 years. But all props to um, Nagano, obviously. But mm. Fury as well. The guy, you can't kill him. Yeah. He yeah. just gets back gets up. Back He's like up. the Undertaker, mm. bro. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. Just sports in general now, man. That was so that's good. Sports in general. Yeah, that was so, good. so that good. Was, that was so good. That, Even that this fight. week's like fight card coming up. Um, you've got... You, Jiri versus oh yeah and uh, Pereira. Pereira another one that comes that's from another different cracker sport. and then you're yeah. gonna have um, on the undercard of that you got uh, Tom Aspinall oh yeah, yeah. and the uh, Sergey yeah that think? was that's, meant to be John Jones versus thing and got cancelled because uh, Stipe yeah but he done his Torres pick yeah. off the bone but yeah loving it that's what we love that fight on the weekend and NBA, it feels good because that's what our life's been, sport and learning things from sport. And like even that perseverance photo, that and photo that you sent me too. Proving people um, wrong, wrong yeah. I love it. That's what, what we love about sport and how we enter into life. Day, yeah. Oh, Francis. Next he could fight he AJ. He could fight any of them. And, he's and I still believe a. AJ. I, can, I still believe AJ is going to be Brother. the one to beat Tyson. If you Brother, know. please. <laughs> please don't do this. <laughs> I really believe it. But wait, I gotta. One second. Just let me get this question from the community out of the way. Yeah, sorry. Someone pushed through a question the other week because he was asking if we still do the questions from the community. And this question says <clears throat> How come the Philippines' is national ba uh, sport is basketball, but they're each other? <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, that's good. That's good, that's good. That's good. Oh, fuck. That's good. I can feel it coming too. I can feel it coming too. Oh, shit. I can feel it coming too. I can feel it coming too. Oh, no. Eddie. What? Thank you, Bobby. Oh, that was Eddie. That was Eddie. And he goes, hey, bro, he's going to have hey, something for hey, you. Hey, but can hey, you ask hey, him a question hey. for me? <laughs> this is my question. And they're all laughing. So, Eddie, hey. thank you for hey. the question. Hey. We're moving on. <laughs> watch, watch the Filipino hate you're going to get. I'm going to... I have to put in the caption. <laughs> I'm going to put that. It shame means shit. But, um... Oh. I've got to answer to that. No. Oh. If you... If that... Uh, I know it's not a serious question, but I can answer that real quick. First... We're too small. <laughs> That's the main one. You can have all the skill in the world, but just too small. You know, We're just not. We should be. We should uh, from grassroots to thing. We shouldn't be molding basketball players. So we can we can enjoy it and love it and play it on the on in in the what's it called in the barangay. We can enjoy basketball and watch and be a fan. But to take it up. Uh, as a serious national sport, no. We need to go into sports that where we can use our strengths. Yeah. Me, and the way we use that is by having athletes that are meant to play basketball go into 
weight division sports, boxing, MMA. We do very well in those because we're fighters. But it's it's like, let's get a whole bunch of Filipinos to play rugby union and league. No, mm. we're going to get smacked up in that yeah. too. Like, we aren't big people. <laughs> there are big Filipinos, but we're not. You're people, considered not, huge. And you're like, six I'm, one. I'm only six. Yeah. I'm six, six flat. flat. Yeah, I'm six, six flat. flat. I go to you go I'm a parties monster. And all your photos yeah. are like <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> all your photos are like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. And the six footers, mm. uh, I talk about this again. I'm not blaming my coaches from when I was young. <laughs> I actually am. Yeah. They stunted my growth. <laughs> you're tall, you're playing center. But then like Do you get what I mean? Yeah. It, when it, I should have been Point guard. Point guard. Yeah. Because, oh yeah, you're going to be tall one day. Bro, I... <laughs> vision, I can pass and everything, but my handles aren't that great. Yeah. Because when I was a kid, when you're like learning the skills of a sport... They had you playing center. Yeah, yeah. go in and defend the big guys. Boxing out, yeah. And yeah. then we get to... 14, 15, the Sudanese boys are getting, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the Islander boys, even though they're not as skilled, they're just getting really big. big. Yeah, yeah. The Aussie boys are getting here. We're just out of, I told Joe boy, don't stunt these kids. <laughs> when he, he shows me some of his kids on Joe, shout out Joe Flo Basketball. Joe Flo Basketball. He has some kids that are bigger, you know, I go, point guard, make sure he's a guard, yeah. guard skills, guard skills, don't let them be a forward, don't ruin his career, you know? <laughs> that's why, we, we don't belong oh. playing by, I'm not, I, I always push for people to, you know, <laughs> pursue the, I'm going long winded, <laughs> <laughs> but we are, we're, Man, we're, bad, so... we're bad, we're bad, I mean, like, we're, it's not that we're bad, they're skilled, but it's just, yeah, Asia Cup, we go good, but number one, number one, number yeah. one, Asia Cup, we win, yeah, but you I know? mean, athleticism was, like, not athleticism, like naturally. Size. It's a big size. sport. Like, yeah, big player sport. Size. Yeah. That's it. It's a big player sport. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Shout out to Eddie again, man. Yeah. My man. <laughs> uh, on a more serious note, yeah. uh, this week, a lot of headlines in regards to the killing of that young woman, uh, Lily James, in that school in St. Andrews in the city. Um, beautiful girl, 21 years old. And once again, it's... We've spoken about this before, but it spotlights male violence against women. I watched, uh, whenever I see, uh, I think it, this specific case has captivated Australia because, um, you know, we have the CCTV, we have, she was young, 21, she was, was a school. teacher. It was in a school. school. Sorry. It happened That's at the work in a school. A work in a school that is always safe. Yeah. Huh? And they're both workers there. Uh, he was an ex boy I won't even call him an ex-boyfriend. Let's just... Ex he's a dog. That, yeah, dog yeah, bro. Absolute dog, bro. And not just that, that case, but there was a Filipina lady in Bendigo that also was killed by an ex-boyfriend. It, it, it... Watching these, and uh, it just... It must be that... Okay... Let's start off with the Lily James case. So we don't have to, you can look into it. Oh, we don't have to go into it, what happened. Mm. But it was savage the way she was taken away from this world. Also, the guy ended up killing himself, killing himself. after anyway. What a you know? scum. The guy was working there as a teacher. They both were. Yeah. yeah and there so was comments in saying... There were comments on him talking about how the girls were saying, the girl students were saying, it was a bit of a creep. He would flirt yeah. and he was showing off about he was dating her, her, blah, blah, blah. But looking at his photos and yes, we don't, I don't judge a <laughs> book by its cover, yeah. but he just seems like the typical, he's from the Netherlands. So he was a Dutch mm. um, expat or, a, or not expat, but you know, immigrant. Yeah. He just looked like a kid that was always given everything to him. He had a, you know, his life was so well, proper, privileged. It seemed like he came from a good family home. And the one time that he got the no and the rejection and the I don't want to be with you no more, he did the, what you said last time we spoke about this, the if I can't have you, nobody will can. have you. Yeah. That's... You have daughters... You know what I mean? We've got sisters. Sisters. We've got mums, aunties, cousins. 
But I've got hundreds of girl cousins. And like, that's why DV is like such a thing that hits so close to home for me, man. Like in general. And um, yeah, like, it's sad to see because she's so young. So young. The like Filipina lady, even if she's in her oh. 40s, that's young. Like, and didn't deserve these things. No, didn't deserve, like, no one deserves it. But, like, if a girl wants to leave a relationship, there shouldn't be repercussions of that sort, ever. Doesn't matter what the situation is. But that's, that's why we want to highlight it, because it starts from when the, who knows what happened to these boys when they were kids, like young kids. It doesn't mm. matter as well. Lee, don't use your trauma as an excuse. Excuse, nah. You know what I mean? Like, don't use your trauma as an excuse. And we're talking about men being men. Yeah. And, bro, I, I talk to you about this all the time. It, ta it will take a lot for me to, to punch it. somebody. Yeah. You know, someone I hated. Yeah. It will take a lot. Let alone. Let alone someone go on to a woman that... Obviously, she's not going to be able to help herself. Protect herself. And that's the sad thing about it is they, it must, it must be, you've, you've highlighted it before. It must be um, their sense of insecurities or something like that. Yeah. For them to backlash and for them to. It's an ego like, thing as well. It's an yeah. ego. Big time right. ego. Once your yeah. ego gets hit. Yes, you know, yes, yes. Like the whole time he was yeah. probably, you know, like before they got together, he was probably any girl that he wanted to yeah, get. Yeah. Like, hey, how are yeah, Anything yeah. that mummy and yeah, daddy wanted yeah, to get. Yeah. yeah, he got. The one time. And then the one time she's like, oh, sorry, I can't do this. He goes, oh, no, 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 no. We, we can make it work. And just that poor girl. Both of them. And that yeah. poor Dita as well. That's. Just because. Yeah. So, young men, we talk about yeah, the young boys of Australia and obviously all over the world, everything, but... Oh, yeah, man. Like, yeah it's, it honestly starts from home. Like, I've never laid my hand on my missus. My dad's never did it yeah. in, in front of me. And I think that's where it starts. They probably see, they've probably seen their dad beat on their mum and then they think, oh yeah, it's normal. It's normal to hit a girl. But if I ever got into an argument with my sister, if we ever like come to come to blows as kids, bro, my dad will those those those. Don't you ever have to put your hands on a girl? I was like, yeah, yeah, sweet that, yeah. And then yeah, that's that, I, I think it stems back to that. So yeah. it's a job for parents to basically um, yeah, like lead by example, like with your kids. I'm just say if you if you got a mate as well, you know. <laughs> when, yeah. you're, when you're in your teens or whatever you are, they can't just let it happen you know yeah. like pull your mate aside pull your mate like, aside bro. and say it's wrong bro yeah. like we don't have any mates yeah, that sister, I know yeah. of that have been abusive to their that's made yeah, public yeah, knowledge yeah. like I don't know if we do or we don't but I've never yeah. come across it with any of our mates with any of our group mm. and yeah just it's sad man and poor both of them but them poor women man it should never it should never have happened yeah Oh shit! Fuck, yeah. I was seeing red then, black. No, I was yeah. like, if we just got be yeah. like, yeah. like, uh, but yeah. Thank you guys again for sitting down with us. Uh, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, comment, everything that you. Whenever you see our posts on Instagram or TikTok, make sure to show us some love. It helps with the algorithm. And catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye. Fuck, sorry, bro. Eddie had me say that one. <laughs> <laughs>